Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Cassie. Today we're making a Simon Hurley Create card and we're using some Simon Hurley Create products. So I have the Nothing But Net stencil and I also have the Slam Dunk stamp set. This stamp set is so fun. It has the little heads that you can mix or match. It's got numbers so you can personalize their uniforms. We even have some two-step stamping and you can color and some great sentiments for all of your basketball loving friends. And that Nothing But Net is fabulous. I've never seen anything like that one on the market. We also have some Simon Hurley stark white cardstock. This is trimmed down to four inches by five and a half inches. So there will be a little bit of a border on the left and right hand side when I put this on my card. What I'm doing is using a little bit of purple tape to tape down that panel. And then I'm just going to put a hinge on my net stencil because I plan to make three cards. Uh, I just figured this would be a very easy way to make plenty of cards. So let's say you need a, a card for coach or you have a bunch of birthday cards coming up or whatever the case may be, I thought this would be an easy way to do it. I'm going to pull out some Nuvo Glimmer Paste in the color Silver Gem. And as you can see, I have this like double covered to make sure it doesn't dry out. And so far, so good. I think I got this stuff like last Christmas and it's been working great. So all I'm going to do is take a palette knife and I'm going to scrape that across, keeping it fairly thin. And then I can lift that flat back and I can pull this piece away. As you can tell, I went ahead and put some purple tape on the back of my other two panels, so it would just be really easy to just keep going. So like I said, you could go to town if you had a bunch of cards to make. Uh, and I only had the three, but it still was a very quick process. And I'm, as you can tell, I'm also not going all the way to the edge. I think that just adds a little bit of, I don't know, a little fun to it. And so we'll just do the same thing with this final card. And then I'll take the leftovers, put it right back into my container, close up my lid, that's press and seal, and then screw my lid back on and then take everything to the sink and clean it off so that it doesn't dry on there. Our next step is to let those things dry and then we're gonna do our stamping. So I'm gonna do some rock and roll stamping. I've been doing a little bit of that recently just because it's such a fun technique. It's an oldie but a goodie. And all you do is I'm starting with the guppy ink, that's that lighter orange, and then I'm stamping into the guppy, then I am rolling my basketball on the edges into that traffic cone, which is a little bit darker orange, and then just stamping it out. So you can tell, tell we get this two-toned look to our basketballs. And I needed uh, nine of these, so I went ahead and stamped out nine, because I want to make sure that I have three on each of the card fronts. This is a two-step stamp. You could leave it the way that it is, but I'm gonna bring in the outline for the basketball. I'm clearly not doing a great job of stamping it. And where there are mess-ups, I can always just kind of cover that up by other um, images. And you'll see what I mean, because I'm going to kind of layer things up a little bit. But I'm not concerned that these don't all match. I think that's kind of the fun of this. And I'm just using a black ink. So I've got all those stamped. My next suggestion would be to maybe go through your dies and find a circle die that would work well. This one was a little bit big, so I went ahead and fussy cut all mine out. I know some of you are cringing, but I didn't mind. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and get all of my card bases ready. So my card bases are um, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and I'm scoring those at four and a quarter inches. And those are once again, some Simon Hurley stark white. And what I'm doing here, if you had cardstock to match, you could absolutely do that, but I want to match my colors. So that first color that I used was Bee Sting, and all I did was put it on those two edges. And the reason for only putting it on those two edges is because, like I said, my panel is a little bit shorter on the left and right hand side. So there's the first one. The second one I'm going to do with some later gator. So all I'm doing is taking that ink pad and I'm just rubbing it right along those edges. And I will give you a dirty little secret. I don't care for basketball. <laughs> I like sports. I just would rather watch paint dry than watch basketball. I know that sounds absolutely terrible, but it's just not my thing. Um, now I'll watch it if it's my team, like the Huskers, or I will watch it if it's a loved one playing, um, but it isn't like my, hey, let's turn on the TV and see what basketball game's on. It's just, it's just not my thing. Just being honest there, folks. Sorry if that offends anybody. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut that panel down to four inches, and now I'm going to stamp out my sentiments. And I want those to match the panels that I made. So I've got this first one, Thanks Coach. I'm using the Crown Me ink. And then I'll clean that off, move that away, and I'll pull in my next stamp. I love that there are some really great sentiments for this. This one is Hoopy Birthday. How clever is that? Uh, so I'll ink that one up with my Later Gator. Um, 
and then my final one will be inked up with the B sting and then I will get ready to cut those out. And I left those at the four inches so that they would go all the way across the panel, but still leave the color from the edges showing. So there you have it. So I'll just put those into my guillotine trimmer and then trim those down using my grid on the guillotine trimmer. So there you go. All right, my panels are dry. They dry quick with that Nouveau Glimmer paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down to the front of my card base, just using some Nouveau Deluxe glue. And like I said, it'll leave a nice little border on the left and right hand side using those colors. And then I can grab each of the perspective ones. I'm going to put some foam tape on the back because I want these to be popped up a little bit. Also because trying to stick things down to the glimmer paste can be a little bit difficult. So um, that's my suggestion there. Glue does work, but a tape runner just is not going to work. So I found the way that I want to put those basketballs down, those two in the background on the upper left hand side. Those are just glued right down. I pulled off, peeled off the release paper from my sentiment and then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, uh, foam tape on the back of my basketball so that that one's popped up and it matches, matches up a little bit. And I did that for all three. So those were some very easy cards to make, and I love the impact. You could just do those for whatever your team is, you know, get those ready for coach, or make a bunch of thank yous, or whatever the case may be, but super, super fun. And I'd love to know what you think of them. If you want to leave a comment down in the comment section down below, I would love to read that. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. And thank you for subscribing if you haven't already done so. Uh, I really do appreciate all the love and support that you guys give. You guys are pretty incredible. And so I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.